Hi everyone, this is just a short informal video showing some of the updates that we're making to the Nemesis. This should be firmware update 1.12. We're going to get it up on the on the web as soon as possible. So the first thing is changing the way that extended preset mode works. So some people may be familiar with the extended preset mode or preset extension mode option. So I just turned it on in the Neuro app and you'll see down here the preset LEDs one, two, three, four. And I have different presets stored in each of these preset locations. And now here's where the change comes in. When we go to preset five, uh, we're now using negative colors to, to represent that. So this would be five, six, seven, and eight. So that's an idea that came from the community on the gear page. Thanks very much for that. And so you can see when you have one of these presets active, you have basically it's, it's negative color, uh, the way that the LEDs work. And if you make a change to a preset, so if I turn the intensity knob, for example, uh, this LED will begin to blink. That indicates that you've made a change and, and now it's a little bit different from what you have uh, stored in memory. So what happens if you go to a preset which is outside of the range of presets 1 through 8? I'll just do that. I have a USB MIDI hooked up right now. So I will jump to preset 9. And when I do that, um, you'll see all four LEDs are on. So that shows me I'm outside of the range of presets 1 through 8. Now, if you're ever in a situation where you're outside of the standard preset range and you want to jump back, let's say you disconnected your MIDI controller or you don't have an easy way to jump back, uh, it's very simple. You just hit the preset button and it'll it'll jump back to preset 1. So no problem there. Um, so we have the expression LED turned on here. So this is the external control LED that turns on when you have an expression mapping and um, turns off because on preset 2 I don't have any expression mapping there. Uh, and we made a small change here. Um, so if I go from a preset that has expression mapping and I jump to another preset which I haven't saved yet, like a blank preset, so I'll jump to preset, I don't know, 20 using my computer. So you see here I'm, I've, I've jumped to outside of the range of my, my presets and expression mapping will turn off. So that's uh, just a small change to try to avoid confusion when you're trying to set up a new preset. Okay, uh, next thing is trails mode. So previously we were doing some complicated stuff with the on-off LED to try to indicate indicate trails mode. Now you can turn on trails mode by pressing the control input button and then holding it and pressing the foot switch. So I'll do that. And now you'll see when I go into trails mode the LED turns uh, red. So it goes from green to red. It's also a little bit dimmer uh, when it's red than, than when it's green might be a little hard to see with the cell phone camera here but it is it is brighter when it's green so uh, whereas if you disable trails mode which I'll do now uh, you just go from green is on to dim is off pretty simple there so there are also some minor bug fixes that we made related to neural parameters and MIDI, uh, but those aren't really worth going into too much detail on. Uh, basically, all of the neural parameters should now load correctly when you load a preset, and same with same with MIDI. So that is just a. An overview of the fixes we made in firmware revision 1.12. We'll get that up on the web as soon as possible. Thanks very much.